Hey baby, I hear the blues are calling, toss salads and scrambled eggs. Fraser's back everybody! Well, kind of. Hello, I'm Tom and welcome to The Voice of Todd. It's a bit of a weird intro, wasn't it? <laughs> Today we're going to talk about, well we've got lots of things to talk about, but this one we're going to focus on the details of the new Fraser series that will revive the classic 90s sitcom for a new Netflix revival according to Tech Radar. Dot com. Link in the description if you want to check it out yourself. We're going to run through this article. Uh, a little bit of background on Frasier first. I adore this show. Of the 90s TV shows that really stand out to me that I watched and still watch whenever I see it, uh, this is, is up there with, with ER and Third Rock from the Sun. This was... I think one of the finest American comedy shows of all time and Kelsey Grammer is phenomenal in it. The whole cast were, but Kelsey Grammer, just brilliant. I absolutely loved this show as a kid. I still love it now. I haven't looked at these details yet, but I am slightly worried that they're bringing it back in the current climate of Hollywood. But let's take a look and see what juicy details we've got. Frasier, the much-loved 90s comedy sitcom, is set to return to our screens for a batch of all-new episodes. One of the most successful comedies of all time, the new series is being picked up by new streaming service Paramount+. Plus. It's not new, it's CBS All Access rebranded and will see star Kelsey Grammer return for the title role of the touchy psychiatrist with his own radio show. It'll be the first time new episodes of Frasier have aired in close to 20 years, with the original 11 seasons airing between 93 and 2004, picking up 37 Emmy Awards along the way. That's pretty impressive. Grammer has reportedly been pitching a reboot since 2018, so Grammer's pitched the reboot. Interesting. Although I don't like the word reboot. I don't want a reboot, I want a continuation. There is something else I want to touch on with Paramount Plus. That'll be in a separate video. But that will be dropping today as well. Because they have dropped a whole host of information about their future slate of shows. For the next 12 months, 24 months, whatever. But back to the story at hand. The comedy classic. So what can we expect from the latest series? The show began life as a spin-off from another TV hit, Cheers, which again is amazing. I'd love Cheers as well. In which Dr. Frasier Crane also appeared. The solo Frasier so initially saw Frasier returning to his home of Seattle to care for his aging grumpy father. However, John Mahoney, who played Crane Sr., passed away in 2018, making it likely that this revival will touch upon Frasier's life after his dad's passing and his own march towards older age. That I would be interested in. It is sad that we don't have John Mahoney anymore. But I, I think Frasier dealing with the crisis of getting older could be very fun to explore. Although Kelsey Grammer is confirmed to return, there's no word yet on whether his brother Niles, originally played by David Hyde Pierce, housekeeper Daphne Moon, Jane Leaves, or Frasier's radio show producer Ros Doyle Perry Gilpin will be back for the new series. This will only work if you have them all back. Especially Roz, because Roz was hilarious. I loved Roz. Owned by Mega Media conglomerate CBS Studios, Paramount Plus, a reworking of the previous CBS All Access video platform, is the latest streaming service banking on the nostalgia factor to bring in viewers in the increasingly crowded streaming market. It's also set to bring back another 90s sitcom, Sex and the City, after the streaming service launches in the US on March the 4th. It's not yet known when the new episodes of Frasier will air. So, let's go and look at the big man himself. I think this is potentially great news. Uh, I think it will be very hard to capture the, the feel of the original. Um, the word reboot in here worries me. I don't want a reboot, I want a continuation. It 
it sounds like that's more what it's going to be and they're just throwing in the word reboot without really thinking about the implications but I would be very interested in watching this in the UK we don't have anything like Paramount Plus we never had CBS All Access the only things I've known have been on CBS All Access was the disappointing Star Trek reboots and they came to either Netflix or Amazon so maybe I'll have a way of, of getting this when it's made but this is very early in production this is just teasing what's to come and yeah I'm all for it I would love to see more, I would love to see where Frasier and Niles are. I mean the kids would be grown up so you've got the option of, of bringing that in. Um, I, I think that this is an absolute gold mine and there's so much that you could do. Uh, so yeah this is good news, this is hopefully going to be a good bit of fun and I will be looking out for more details and hopefully it will live up to the original because if it doesn't it has the the big chance of diminishing such a glowing reputation in uh, the comedy circuit and justifiably so i didn't realize it had won that many emmy awards but this is this is good news this is a nice news to start the day as i say there's quite a few more videos to come most of them are about tv shows to be honest uh, we've got a little bit of potential mass effect news we've got a little bit on the halo tv show um, and a potential blade runner TV show as well. All things that I care very deeply about. Not necessarily the TV shows, but all uh, franchises I care very deeply about. So, lots to come. Stay tuned. More videos will be dropping, and tomorrow we have our One Division review for the latest episode. So, stick around for that. Hit that subscribe button. All support is appreciated. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.